Hello and welcome as it's finally time for round number two of I Rock 2. <coughs> Been a long wait just because we were trying to wait for a race on the schedule for the Cup Series. That would be a very good race that we knew it would. And the field inverse from the way that they finished round one at Atlanta. So PJ Williams will start on the pole alongside DJ Curtis. Jordan Newman and Cosmic Nova make up row two with Kate Skirvin, Seth Cole, row three. Alan Kavanaugh, Ray Krager will make up row four. Mary Shelley and Sky Commons on row five. And on the final row will be James Qualls, your Atlanta winner, and Charles Jackson. Drivers, start your engines! <coughs> this expected to be a very good race. Uh, we came here last season. And we're hoping for a lot of great action here. Maybe some free wide racing. We'll see. 27 laps in store for the drivers here today. And it looks like all 12 get rolling. We'll take a short commercial break and we'll be right back to the action. And we are back. Pace car just pulled off. Leaving the field under the hands of PJ Williams. And he hits the gas. We are underway here from Chicagoland. Jordan Newman trying to make a quick two wide action here. Three wide back there. Krager goes to the inside. And it's Nova shoved up out of line. But Newman quickly did not let Curtis in the line there. As DJ is going to get the runoff turn number four on that outside line. Krager doing the same. He's into fourth. And Sky Commons from the final row up into fifth. Or next to last row, actually. It was Jackson who came from the final row. Same for Paul. DJ Curtis, though, going for the lead here on PJ Williams now. Near the end of lap one. And look at Curtis holding it in there. Strong on the inside line. He will take the lead there. What was that? By four thousandths of a second. Only four thousandths. DJ Curtis though hanging in there. Williams trying to hold it up, hold him off on the outside, not able to do so. Now he has Newman on his inside. Newman has to get out of the throttle. Sky Commons makes a move, trying to go to the inside for third. Kate Skirvin there in sixth, going for fifth on Ray Krager. Jordan Newman trying to hold around the outside, maybe try and get that third spot back away from Sky Commons. So far, not able to do so, as PJ Williams is all over the back bumper of DJ Curtis. Sky Commons now does grab third away. Jordan Newman in the fourth. Ray Craig are going to hold on to fifth over Kate Skirvin. Meanwhile, Charles Jackson battling with Seth Cole. Now Jackson makes a move to the inside of Skirvin. As Qual's going to make it three wide off turn number two. Nearly some contact with the 11. And they get it down to two wide now. <coughs> As Ray Krager tried to get to the inside of Jordan Newman, not successful there. Top three all single file and breaking away from the pack right now. All it takes is for them to start battling, and these guys back here will be right back up into this. Kate Skirvin, they're going to grab fifth away from Ray Krager in the 22. Seth Cole made a thought about going to the inside of Krager, not doing so. Now he will. An ill-advised time, really, because he will lose the spot. And Bow for second. Sky Commons inside P.J. Williams here on the front straightaway. So that will help D.J. pull away, and it will help these guys back here start to close in a little bit. Sky Commons was still almost just as fast as DJ Curtis that lap, despite making a move on PJ Williams. DJ so Williams now going to be under attack from Jordan Newman here in the 01 car, it looks like. As, yep, Williams under attack, Newman to the inside there, the Sony Cup Series champion. Making a move for third, gets a little bit loose though, or tight one or the other. Either way, lost some ground. Kate Skirvin with some contact with the 01. 
As Prager tried to make it to the inside line, but Seth Cole was there, nearly contact made between the 22 and the 52. And Sky Commons has caught the 19 of DJ Curtis. But the pack is fiercely fighting for sixth on back. James Qualls looking for, I believe that is seventh position there. He's gotten eighth away from Charles Jackson, the 11th. But Jackson now trying to power his way back around on the outside. Not able to do so there with Alan Cavanaugh now on his inside. Ray Krager here in sixth, trying to look on to the inside of Kate Skirvin there for fifth right now. Krager comes in there fifth in the points because of how he finished last week. <coughs> Tied with Sky Commons, actually. And speaking of Sky Commons, Sky Commons just led that lap over DJ Curtis. So a new race leader here in the 42 of Sky Commons. Well, but here comes DJ Curtis back around the outside, down the back straightaway. Can DJ hold it in there now this time? Trying to, and it looks like he might be able to. Coming to the line. Give that lap to DJ. Fierce battle up here for the top spot. DJ Williams wants a piece of this battle now. And that's going to allow DJ Curtis to get the run on the outside, and he will hold on to the lead from Sky Commons. That allowed Jordan Newman and Kate Skirvin, though, to catch up a little bit because they were running single file. Still bound for position back here for 10th right now with Cosmic Nova, Alan Cavanaro, and Mary Shelley. As now Sky Commons has to try and regroup, Jordan Newman broke away a little bit. And Ray Krager is con right back up to the 24, Kate Skirvin, with help from Seth Cole and James Qualls there in the 25. Now the entire field is single file. I just saw them back here all single file as well, so that's good to see. But you have a pack of three. You have a pack of about five right there. Then you have a pack of three with Charles Jackson trying to figure out which pack he's actually in. As Kate Skirvin makes a peek now inside, Jordan Newman here for fourth down the back straightaway into turn number three. Not sure that was the best of moves there. Jordan Newman will get the outside line working and he will hold on to the fourth position. 14 laps complete, halfway home already in this, the second race of IROC 2. After this, just two more races left in this season. Short four, ra four races and uh, we're hearing that the next two races might be not that far away as Prager makes it three wide. That might be the best news Kate Skirvin got in this battle as she tries to hang on to this and at the line is ahead of the 01 of Jordan Newman. Still three wide with Prager there on the inside. Newman now has to get out of it. Prager washes up the track. James Walls gets a couple spots out of this. And they are three by three now for the fourth position as well as for the sixth position, I believe. Meanwhile, James Qualls battles with Ray Prager, the new well, what is now the Mountain Dew Junior Series, but at the time was Nuka Cola Lights. Into fifth now, once again, as Qualls stays in sixth. And we have a battle for the race lead once again. Sky Commons tries once more to get around the 19 of DJ Curtis. Sky Commons trying to fight for the uh, most laps lead bonus, which will go to DJ Curtis, but he's trying to fight for second most to at least get some extra bonus points and maybe, just maybe, take the points lead away as DJ Curtis now leads the lap. As James Qualls battles with Ray Krager for fifth. Looks like these GNS, or the uh, IROC cars here, are a little bit tight right now for a lot of these drivers. But all the cars set up the same, and right now Sky Commons, DJ Curtis, and DJ Williams driving their cars the best.
Less than 10 laps to go now. Nine there at the stripe. DJ Kerr still leads over Sky Commons, but by just the narrowest of margins. PJ Williams still third. As now Ray, or sorry, that's Alan Cavagnar that's getting shoved out to the outside line. Jordan Newman fell way back. <coughs> sorry, Ray Krager, Alan Cavagnar, the cars are both yellow, so when I see them, I don't look for the red, unfortunately, which is the main part that can tell them apart. As Sky Commons once again going for the race lead. Does PJ Williams help him this time is the question. Looks like Commons car gets a little bit tight again. But PJ right now right there with the 19. Now goes up to push the 19 down the back straightaway. Now goes back to the inside to help the 42 of Sky Commons. But DJ around the outside. Look at the run that 19 got. DJ Curtis still leads. At, oh, wow. Qualls now up into fifth over Kate Skirvin. Krager now goes for the inside. Seth Cole, Charles Jackson, Alan Cavagnaro, Jordan Newman, Mary Shelley, and Cosmic Nova right now. As Skycom is still on the inside, PJ Williams now trying to make it three wide once again. Not able to do so. As DJ once again going to get the run off the corner. He will lead still with six laps to go. This is an incredible fight for the top spot here at Chicagoland. Sky Commons still trying to hold that inside line just a little bit. Trying to stay there with them. PJ Williams trying to help. James Qualls now is going for fourth as we continue to watch the battle for the race lead. Now PJ up to the outside trying to get second away from Sky Commons maybe. As Qualls does grab fourth away. Skirvin back to fifth. Seth Cole up to sixth now. So James Qualls starting to show some muscle here in the late going. As Sky Commons has run the fastest lap of the race. Out of anyone. In fact, his was one of just two laps in the 27 second bracket. <coughs> Four laps to go though for Sky Commons. Can he do anything? Seth Cole now tries to battle with Sk Kate Skirvin there for fifth. Every spot meaning at least something here. As Jackson battles with Krager. Tavagnaro, Shelley, Newman, and Nova all battling. As once again, Sky Commons tries for the top spot. This time, DJ doesn't get as good of a run going. And PJ Williams is going to help Sky Commons take the lead with just three laps to go. But now here comes PJ Williams back to the inside. DJ Curtis... He's wanting to help Sky Commons now. These guys a whole full second and a half ahead of James Falls, though, for fourth. Remember, Curtis and Williams coming to this race is the bottom two in this point. Two laps to go for Sky Commons. Can he take his first IROC Series win? Qualls was pretty much right with these guys, though, a little bit. About three-tenths up on some of them. A few tenths up on Williams and about right even with Sky Commons' lap. So it's going to be a battle between DJ Curtis and Sky Commons, it looks like. Curtis took a better line through three and four there. A little bit lower of a line. White flag. One lap to go for DJ Curtis. Or for uh, Sky Commons, really. One lap to go for everyone, but hey. Down the back straightaway. Sky Commons is just one set of turns away from taking IROC race number two. And off the final corner. No challenge from DJ Curtis. Sky Commons takes the round of Chicagoland. And just like that, we're halfway home in this IROC championship. Wow. Well, I don't know who's going to win this one. Or who's going to leave here as the points leader. Um, but we will see you for race number three. No details on what that track will be. Congrats to Sky Commons 
on getting the win, though. We will see you next time. Still a little bit more of racing here this weekend, besides just the IROC cars. Like to say thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.